Today I'm going to talk to you about this camera right here. I have crashed again and again and again with this thing and still it works flawlessly. And considering it's out there with no case, just hanging on the gimbal, that is just incredible. It's actually been through crashes that have shattered the gimbal and the camera still survived and has been just fine. It's proven to be a tough little camera. Uh, when I bought mine, it was about $50. And I think that includes shipping. I've had it for about a year and a half. The only thing that's never worked on it is video playback on the little screen. It's just never worked. Um, <clears throat> it always comes up with an error. But, you know, you don't want to view... See, it comes up like this. Picture error. Always has done that since it was new. I'm sure it was a, a firmware problem. I've tried different cards in it and everything, and I've still had the same problem. But <clears throat> the camera itself is tough as nails, and uh, I can't complain at all about this camera. It's been a great little camera. I mean, it still works flawless even after the crash the drone had last, uh, I guess it was Sunday night. Uh, just like I said, completely flawless. Uh, so if you have a, oh, and it came with a whole bunch of mounts. I mean, uh, just about every mount you could ever want. Um, uh, there was uh, value for money. You, you can't go wrong with one of these. Uh, I looked at Amazon like two days ago to see how much they're going for now. Because I was thinking about replacing it. It does, mine does have the lens. It's got a little bit of a scratch doesn't really affect it. It's been scratched for probably a year. You don't notice it on the videos. But I was thinking, you know, I might like to have a second one of these. Uh, it's very lightweight. Uh, my other sport cam, well, I have two others. I have several others. But I have a GoPro Hero that's an old, old GoPro. Uh, this actually does better. The picture out of it's better. I also use a Zoom Q4 as a helmet cam does 1080p at 30 frames a second, 720 at up to 60 frames a second, uh, 720, 30 frames a second, which is where I usually run it, and WVGA. Who uses that anymore? And it's very easy to use. It's just a cheap camera you can put anywhere that really gives some pretty good, decent um, video results. Can't say enough about it. I mean, great value for money. <laughs> That was epic. <laughs>